Others? Want to speak? to pay my sincere condolence to the martyrs uh, of yesterday and uh, my wishes of uh, recovery for, for those injured and uh, um, I would like to, 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 to say about the question you have raised in, in this place about who killed the, pro the protesters, the identity of the killers. You are asking about this identity, but before asking about why they kill the protesters, I think this is also an important question. And uh, in this sit-in, the people here, the protesters, men, women, young and old, they came together for one, one, one goal and uh, for one motivation, and this motivation was stated in the declaration of of the freedom, freedom, freedom forces and change. They we have certain uh, certain demands, and these demands are they, they, they are they are agreed by the people, and the people have certain demands. This is why the people are protesting in the sit-in. They don't leave the sit-in. <laughs> Uh, in the previous months of the sit-in and, 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 and the period before the sit-in, we have we have a real battle for for freedom with the former regime and with the new national with the new military council. Uh, regarding those who killed the protesters, who they are, the, the witnesses, and in different places, they say that these are people wearing the rapid forces closes and uh, on their cars while the the, the rapid forces uh, deny that they they attack the protesters and they will not attack the protesters but on the ground uh, they they say this while the the, the, the military council also uh, deny what happens and name a third a third party, a third movement that do these attacks. Uh, regarding these realities, what going on in Sudan? Uh, the U.S. Embassy in Khartoum has said that the has 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 directed its word to the military council that the military council want to 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 impose its vision. I say it its vision on the protesters and that's true and when, when when you look to the events in the last week you find that many bank many bank uh, statements has been released and these bank statements are belonging to former institutions former terrorist institutions let me say of this regime for example you find Zadna companies uh, bank statement has been released and also you find that the national service uh, bank statement has been released and uh, and also you find popular police bank statement has been released in the last week and uh, the release of these bank statements is an indicator that there is something being being done in 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 hidden theaters so the 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 the, 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 the extreme is working working uh, on a new battle on our protest so what we expect we expect attacks we expect uh, these bank statements to fund their attacks on protesters and and we expect these things also when we talk about the the rabid forces they are they they are responsible of what going on and if they are they, they, are, they do not attack the people why they do not protect pro protect the people and also the national, the sorry, the military council, the military council, be a responsibility. It be a responsibility because now you are leading, you are leading negotiations with the people. You believe that the that you have, 
you have the right to ask for uh, to ask the, the 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 people to 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 make negotiation and to to reach a certain vision, and uh, you are responsible of this situation. While we as protesters we understand we understand the we understand your position as higher ranks in the police, and we understand that this revolution was was built on the in, on on the souls of young soldiers who sacrificed themselves who stand with the people and they are from the heart of those protesters and they enforced their uh, their leadership to take this decision because the leadership in in uh, throughout the throughout the, the course of uh, protest they they just declare that they are with their president and uh, those people when the when 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 the when the when the low ranks at the army sided with the people they were enforced to take this decision and even in the the military council we know that there are former former several islamist leaders they were part of of the military council and the and the people and the protesters were calling were calling them to resign and to leave the, the national council we understand that the complexity of uh, institutionalization of islam of islam or political islam in sudan the national congress party was working on the last 30 years to institutionalize uh, its political uh, situation and one of the institutions that have been destroyed was the army and uh, everybody Sudan understand that you cannot join security force security forces or the army unless you have strong mediation you have a political loyalty and through such uh, ideological apparatuses the the, the 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 NCP has succeeded to destroy this institution and uh, you cannot you cannot become a high rank in are asking for too much so what i think if if those kill the people is the rabbit is the is the rabbit uh, forces rabbit defense forces or whatever other force it is the responsibility of the military council to to uh, to to make uh, an independent committee an independent committee that should uh, investigate who kills the protesters and at the same time uh, there is so many so many so many so many uh, facts that the, mil the military council have said the military council has tell us that so many so many uh, former leaders of the NCP are in prison but we have we have come to to, to reality that some of important figures such as Bashir brothers are not in the prison and the head of the head of prisons of Sudan have make uh, make uh, comments that are contradictory to the military council's uh, spokesman uh, dec declaration that uh, this man Abbas for specific is in prison so also the military council is giving those people more time is giving uh, the former the former the former ncp militias to organize themselves to attack us once again and we understand these things but at the end we will not surrender as protesters with bare chest we will not surrender our our sole arm is uh, our peaceful demonstrations we continue demonstrations our sole arm is our roadblocks we will continue blocking our area we will continue uh, to call our uh, our peaceful demands and these peaceful demands they came as a result of awareness and uh, we will not we will not we will not we will not uh, practice any violence as those people expect and uh, my message to you and to everybody here everybody who tries to say 
uh, it is no longer, it should no longer be peaceful to tell him that it is not, this is not our choice. Our choice that we need peaceful demonstration and our peaceful demonstration has not taught us as protesters but has taught the world lessons. And a good example of this was the, the French, the French, uh, had, had the French president have said to, to his protesters that you should learn from the Sudanese protesters. And our protest is going on and developing and uh, gaining prominence transnationally. And you could see this in so many ways. And we teach the people, so many people say that we came to the Arabic Spring in a late time. But they don't understand that our first protest, uh, protest was not in, in the 1960s, but in the 1924, when the White League, uh, the White League society has led the first demonstrations, anti colonial demonstrations against the British colonials. So these were our first demonstrations of protest is not a new culture. It is a, a century old culture and it continue in the post-colonial period and the Sudanese have to tell, told the people that we are still protesting. We are, uh, we are, we are toppling several dictatorships. Abu dictatorship was being toppled. Nimeri dictatorship was being toppled. And Bashir regime or dictatorship has also been toppled. And Bashir has learned from 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 the mistakes of his his ex dictatorships he learned uh, from toppling Abud, from toppling Nimeiri, and he tried to institutionalize his institution and to overcome these issues. But despite these things, we have toppled him. And my message to the military council that we have toppled your devil. We have we have toppled your Bashir and your Bashir is no is no longer existing. We have toppled him and we are able to topple you. And uh, also despite that the negotiations are going on the ground and we are we are uh, achieving several victories, but we also find some attacks and uh, all these attacks will not will not make us surrender. So we need to continue and just it is uh, it is it is it is as it is just just very very few very few well armed so don't 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 use any words that can can be can be against our revolution we understand that those people are not are not part of are not in the foot in in the shoe of their leadership so try to win to, to win their contention try to win that they are with us so many people say so, so say so many words but you know that in military it based on it based on ranking very strict ranking and the people they should they should receive uh, from their from their high ranks so at this moment I beg you I beg you not 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 to do anything that can be against our revolution start uh, continue uh, protesting peacefully as you are continue your awareness with the same pace and uh, um, really I'm, I'm very happy that now despite the bullets despite uh, the killings despite everything the people are coming to the city to the city and uh, those youth, just like the, just like the ones that Kipling write about, they are fuzzy wuzzy, and uh, those fuzzy wuzzy in the Mahadis estate, they broke, they they broke the British square. You know that no no Indians, no anybody have 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 achieved such military uh, victory, and they broke the British square. And uh, Kipling, the war poet of uh, the colonials write about those points and uh, 
those now in the streets they, they are they are they are greater than those fuzzy wuzzy kipling right about because those people are armless they are armless their only arm is their will so our only arm is our peaceful demonstration our only arm is our awareness so keep protesting keep our revolution alive don't surrender don't surrender if the military council if the rabbit forces want to kill us all let them kill us and let them let them rule an empty land we will not surrender this is our message to them thank you thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much awesome and, and, and great words um, yes we're back to receive another speaker welcome just put put people in context can you people who are uh, watching live now yes. um, this live video and to our the audience uh, the context of our English club is the current situation in Sudan. What do you think about the current situation uh, in Sudan? Problems, answers, and um, solutions for, for those problems. And what do you or what do you foresee for the future? Inshallah. Welcome. To, to high condolence to the farmers of Martais. And uh, I want to go to say to that uh, at the first, when we are our revolutions start at the at the uh, at the December, there's a lot of people that have been killed. There's a lot of people has been killed. There is the previous regime of NCP. Uh, it's killed a lot of protesters. When we are start, uh, when we are came here at the 6th April, there is uh, a lot of people also have been killed. Uh, they are the previous regime tried to remove road roadblocks, and also here nowadays there is also a lot of people that have been killed. And there's a lot of people they are asking, who, who killed those people? Who killed, who killed those protesters? And I am going to say that the the team previous security they have built is still doing, is still ruling us, and is still to kill the protesters, and also. Today, before uh, before uh, before breakfast, there's also a lot of people who have been killed there in the in the near street, and there are a lot of people also they ask asking whom killed those people. I want to say that are responsible to the to the military military council. Also, I take uh, responsible to the militia who came from the outside here in Sudan, those who killed, who called, down they are, they are also responsible to killing those protesters. Also, I want to go to say that uh, we are here, we have demands. When we are they start our revolutions. We have a lot of demand to the previous regime. I want to say that uh, I, I, I'm going to say that we are not going to remove the protesters before we achieve our demand. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
tak sorun tipul this has has still is one uh, history and one and two security and city uh, city uh, political political. But this is uh, the situation. Uh, this uh, to answer this, this question, we uh, we can uh, use the U.S. to uh, declare the ending of the agreement uh, about the 24 uh, hours. 24 hours. Uh, this for, for, for this this one's uh, the deep country. Trust revolution and the protesters because the, the, the solution are the are the bus fickful, bus fickful. Well, all the Sudanese, all, all the people in this place, all the uh, and this, this place and the Sudanese revolution and the focus, all the TV and broadcasting and the media ways are coming to uh, to cover this, uh, this, uh, this this accident. This, uh, this abnormal accident and all uh, unbelievable things happen in the Sudan, and it is a model for the, all, uh, all the all can uh, can uh, 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 useful from uh, Sudanese uh, revolutions, Venezuela and uh, Algeria. Now Algeria look like uh, situation is uh, 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 look like the Sudan, look like the Sudan. But the situation are different, are different. Uh, you know, uh, Islamic Forum, Islamic Forum have uh, or, or has uh, has uh, black, black, uh, black sheets for the terrorists and the violence against that people. All uh, because it is uh, from the principle, kill, kill. It is from the one principle. You know, you uh, you uh, we can uh, sing or uh, listen. Sorry, here here from the former vice president, president, we have the shared groups, shared groups, shared groups. He's uh, he's uh, declared this is a uh, very uh, dangerous because uh, now the the shared groups are are, uh, are do his uh, his tasks uh, or do his uh, his uh, his work. In the, in the Nil Strait and the uh, Republic of Jomboré Straits. For, 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 this, uh, for, for, for these reasons, we can, uh, we can continue to the revolutions um, uh, until, until to successful and the civilian govern, govern and, the, and the law, country law, and many, uh, many, uh, many good put these things from the revolutions. Uh, also, we know we know the the Kuyuka, uh, Kuyuka supporter group. You know Kuyuka group. Name uh, It is uh, it is has black shirts in the many parts in the Sudan for the kill people and and, and many and rob and and other uh, bad and horsey things. So we cannot. Uh, uh, sing is uh, our work. I'm not uh, uh, use uh, or uh, busy our head. The the the, the answer is for, uh, the answer of the question is the proper for anyone uh, for for anyone. So we can uh, we can uh, the, the military council has has all all answer from the Bashir Ligum or Bashir system. Is to answer this question, so uh, they uh, they want to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, bad bad uh, or far far himself from this uh, from this criminal because it is near it is near from the the, the general immediately here for about the uh, fifty meters. So you cannot, uh, you have can you, you have any you cannot have any uh, answer. You for, uh, only you you answer this question. Uh, you can know you know you know who is the uh, command this 
this, uh, this mistake, you know this. Uh, thank you for the chance. <laughs> Um, a quick reminder for our uh, topic today. Uh, our topic today is uh, the current situation in Sudan. Problems, answers, and... Um, who, killed? who killed the people? Who killed the people? It is um, the, 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 the question that we kept repeating since the beginning of this English club. Who killed the people and what are the hidden intentions of the killing? Do you think that the military council has participated in such killing? Do their hands are do their hands have any blood of our brothers or they are innocent? Are we accusing them for no reasons? Or it is the thing which should be done? Thank you very much. are the solutions for any problem around the world. We are as peaceful as long as the breath is in our lungs. As long as our veins are stuffed and filled with blood, we are going to be peaceful. Till the last drop of blood, we are going to be peaceful in our demonstrations and you will never lead us to the circle of violence. Again, um, I would like to remind you with um, our topic for today is the current situation in Sudan, solutions, and, uh, problems and solutions. And the question which is on the table is that did the military council participate in the previous attacks? Did they kill our brothers? Did they have the blood of our brothers on their hand? 
do we accuse them for no reason or they are the criminals and the killers of our brothers? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? this peaceful protesting it's not only in 6th of April but we started for a long time which is in December last year and we still protesting peacefully but the military council I don't know what it won't say to us or don't he is not honest with us by the way because what is going on now today, it is because of him, because of it. Because it is unlogic when people inside your home and they have been killed by someone else and you don't know this. It's something unlogic. So uh, I could say the responsibility of everyone has been killed during this period of time. It is the military council responsibility. And it has not forget that the law must take everyone who did or commit crime through this time. And my message to you as a protest or dear sister or dear brother, this time is not for be right. Any issues that let us to be separate, we have to avoid it because it's time for uniting. We have to unite ourselves in order to achieve our goal that we all calling for it together. Civil authority that we want. We have to fight for this until the last, the last drop of our world in this. This is my message to you. Be together, be united in order to achieve what we want to achieve together. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation. Gentlemen, we would like to receive another uh, speaker. I'm a co worker and uh, my idol. Mr. Hassan Sufi. So, ladies and gentlemen, just uh, clap for him warmly. Clap for him. Speak up. Okay. Hey, I will start by sending my deepest sorrows to those who lost their lives in this revolution since the start of December till today. For instance, if it declares something, then it would have declared that we are fighting an enemy that even does not respect this holy mass. Killing people in such a days, something more than bad. And having those people with arms fighting us and killing us for only protesting peacefully, it is such a sorrow for this community that will definitely be the face that will end their long, their longevity. For instance, they are trying to make us flow, to swim with the flow. They are trying to make us and put, in, and put us in an unbre unbreakable chain. Right now, they are delaying. They are, they are delaying the, uh, the, the negotiations with the uh, forces of the, uh, of the change. They are trying either for some reasons such as deleting some strong documents that may end their lives and sending them to the cemetery. They are trying to delay those issues by making excuses and right now I have known that the declaration that should have been made by the transitional military service uh, uh, the transitional military council 
I'm sorry. Uh, I've been delayed from the uh, time of 12 a.m. and it's going to be in another time that they did not uh, set. Today, people, we are protesting peacefully to express our opinions and thoughts without even having a metallic nail in our pockets. We are peacefully protesting. We have doctors, we have lawyers, we have teachers, we have people from different fields in life. They are trying to express, they are trying to show Sudan that we have the people who are able to rise up by this country. Unfortunately, some people, they are just trying to make us in one of the deepest or the lowest countries in the so-called third world. I'm sorry to tell you this, but if, if and only if they give us the opportunity to express our thoughts, then we will see people, people like doctors who are getting in their hands tools that may help them to bring people alive, helping to, to, breathe, helping to protect some cures that may save innocent lives in Sudan, helping people all over around the world, not even Sudan, to be better or nothing. They are trying, we are trying to have the tools, we are trying to have the, the abilities that may raise up this country. We are trying to demonstrate not only in the face of those Sudanese people or those military service or those people who they always put in their minds a pathetic anticipation of seeing Sudan, one of the lowest countries in the world. We are rising today in the face of the world. As general, we are rising in the face of the world. We are sending our voice and definitely we will not stop. We are going to continue those protests in this way. We are going to show the world that no longer are we that generation who you used to see in the, in the, in the back of the countries. Today, we have people that they are trying to send a message in a peaceful way. But unfortunately, those people from the transitional military service and other armed forces, they are fucking up those people from achieving their goals. Many things would have been declared if only, only if they gave us the opportunity to express. But unfortunately, we have people that they have a 26 letter inside their minds trying to demonstrate and have the ability of expressing. As same as you have people demonstrating all around this headquarter, we have letters and words that we want to express them. They have been stuck in our minds for a long time and now it is the time to show up and uprise this country. Give us a, set, give us a chance. Again, a quick reminder for our topic today. Our topic is um, the current situation in Sudan, problems, solutions, and foreseeing uh, the future of Sudan. Um, the question which is on the table, uh, again, uh, did they kill us? Did they participate in killing the uh, peaceful administrators? I mean the, uh, the military head uh, council, or the military council. Uh, did they participate in the killing? or they are innocent. What do you think about this? Are they innocent or not? Yes, sir? We reach the podium. Thank you very much indeed. Really, it's my honor to stand in front of you and pull out my idea about how essentially discussing the occurrence of Sudanese problem. Raise your voice, please. Uh, okay. So, um, if we would like to speak about Sudanese problem, we should have to be honest first of all, uh, because really we are we are so famous for generosity outside. Okay, our generosity is outside, but we are so stingy about our problems inside. Okay, so we are put our problems in a pocket. By this way, our problem it will not be solved. We should have to be trans, we should have to be truth, we should have to speak the truth because 
who should be spoken. So, first of all, we should have to agree with our problems, to put our problem on the table so as to deal with it. So what is our problem? Everybody knows what the Sudan problem is. So we should have to agree with each other, we should have to believe with each other. We have a certain problem, we put our problem in a table so as to deal with it. We can get the solve. Because if, if, if you would like to do something, you should have to practice the things that you would like to do. If, if you would like to be, for example, um, if you would like to speak the truth, if you would like to be honest, you should have to practice, you should have to practice uh, the honest all the time. You should have to, or, uh, to speak or to practice all the time because uh, if you would like to practice a hard work, a hard work, it doesn't just appear, but you can practice a hard work. What I would like to mention that why we can hide something, why we can hide something, but the question I think some people mentioned that uh, do the military, you know, impose or did the military have, for example, uh, they are sharing for killing protesters or not? If, if you were asked me a certain question, I would have been said yes, because who is, uh, for example, um, who is going to protect the, the, the protesters? I think the military, right? So if you say that those, it is not the military, they are firing the guns. Who firing the guns? Your responsible is going to, you know, to help these people and to keep these people safe. If you are firing the guns or not, you are responsible. This is your responsibility, okay? Because uh, these citizens, they are, you know, they are innocent, they are unguilty, they are not army. So why you let them so as to be shot by somewhere else? If you are not you, but also you are responsible for this. And we should have to know that, you know, the military or even uh, the whole military, for example, they are responsible for what happened. For what happened, they are completely their responsibility. Because if, you, if they are denied, they say that this, it does not belong to us. Okay, well, belong to whom? You should have to know those people, they are belong to somewhere else. And you should have to avoid them, you should have to keep them, because your responsibility, it is not our responsibility as a protesters to know whom are they, but it is yours. And uh, thank you very much indeed. I don't want to prolong my speech more than what I have said. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. For... Um, <clears throat> Um, first of all, good evening. Um, before I start, I would like to uh, send my condolences to the families of victim, victim families. And uh, I send my thoughts and prayers to those people who have been killed by directly, I would, I would like to accuse Transitional Military Council, the first and the last person who is responsible for killing of those people is Transitional Military Council. Because when we came here in 6th of April and Bashir was forced to step down in 11th of April, we have more than months and five days after Bashir forced to step down, the military, let's say Transitional Military Council, has become the government itself. So the question is, what is the role of the government? The role of, of government is what? To save its citizen. So we are here, is a very safe place. Everything is very clear. But the question is, what happened the day before yesterday and what happened today? The question is, who are those people and who are the direct beneficiaries from this killing? So this, these are the questions. We know the answer, who are the responsible of doing this? But we still, we need answer from the Transitional Military Council. So what happened the day before yesterday? Killing of more than 10 people, peaceful, peaceful protesters, and injuring more than 77 people. And today is the same thing happening again and again. After negotiation with, with the forces of uh, freedom and change, they said that they are going to form 
an investigation, a committee to investigate what happened. But till now, till today, we, did, we don't know what happened. And the same thing has happened today. So we, we just held the, the, the uh, Transitional Military Council direct responsibility for what happened. We came here asking only for three things. Peace, justice and freedom. These are three things. And nobody can impl implement this uh, peace, justice and freedom. Only somebody who is re responsible for doing this is a civilian government. So the Transitional Military Council, why are you just delaying the time? Do you think that as Sudanese young people who are peaceful demonstrators came here, just uh, go back their homes like that? We came here asking for this peacefully. We are un unarmed, we don't have any weapon. Just uh, we, we use our voices. So you have to, and instead of just going around in a, in a very a vacuum side circle, you have to come here and let the civilian government take the power. Because after all, Sudan is our country. We need Sudan to be a country where every Sudanese pe pe person live in, in, let's say, harmony, in, in, in democracy, in freedom, total freedom. So these are our askings and our demands. So we asking international community that they have to intervene. We don't we don't like uh, let's say uh, um, military intervention, but they have to intervene to 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 let's say what's going in Sudan is something really bad, and everybody who kills Sudanese people, protesters should held accountable. So that's all what we asking for. So the. the with the military head, uh, let's say military um, transitional council, with uh, forces of uh, change and freedom, things are going really very negative in the city in here in front of military uh, compound. So really, this is something tragic, something chaos, and we held direct responsibility to transitional military council. So you have to do see, uh, something, otherwise. You are going to face many problems. First of all, Bashir himself, he governed us three decades, 30 years. But with total no freedom, there is no freedom, at the, there was no freedom at the time of Bashir. There is no justice, and instead there were a, a lot of injustices. So we suffer a lot from that. And do you want to, the question is to, 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 the, to the military council, do you want to repeat the same history again and again? When are you going to learn from history? We have to learn from history. So I don't know what to say actually, because our brothers and our sisters are killing on the streets. They are peaceful protesters. We are. We don't have. We just with with bare arms. We don't have something like that. So really, I'm really sorry, but I want to say that. We are going to continue to fight peacefully, just with our voices, until our demands should be fulfilled. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm saddened to announce that we have reached the last point in our today's discussion. But I would like to remind you that um, daily we are having um, uh, this kind of discussion. Uh, it starts at 9 uh, o'clock and it um, continues for one hour. Um, so tomorrow at 9 o'clock uh, at the same place, um, I'm inviting you to be uh, a part of this um, good discussion in order just to reach answers for the questions which are reveling uh, inside our minds and inside our chests. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you again for being a good listener and um, the great um, condolences again should be paid for um, the families of the lost and uh, we uh, hope a full recovery and healing to our um, injured people and God have those heroes, those lost um, on 
the highest ranks of heavens and raised to our country, raised to the heroes that gave their blood cheap for the country, and raised to the Sudanese nation as we are telling the people how to get our, uh, their rights, how to get their rights peacefully without killing, and we are a peaceful nation, and as they said that we are teachers. Um, the, 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 the previous speakers on this podium, they have repeated one thing that we are teaching people how to, to demonstrate. And ladies and gentlemen, it's not far from the truth. Um, right now, many countries and many international communities are learning many things for the Sudanese, from the Sudanese uh, nation, and majorly how to get your rights peacefully. And again, we emphasize and highlight that a bullet will never take a right, a bullet will take a soul, and the soul will be spared, and nothing will be rich. So uh, be peaceful as long as you are living, as long as you are breathing, as long as the blood is rotating in your um, body. Uh, peaceful demonstrations, again, it is the answer, not uh, violence, not brutality. And as they splatter us with blood, we should uh, throw back roses at their ones. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being a good listener. We will meet, inshallah, tomorrow. Thank you very much.